Hello dear viewer, my name is Geralt and this is episode 38 of my transport fever to USA hard mode playthrough. In the previous episode I presented all the major changes done for the game to run more smoothly and the transportation network to be more efficient and from that profitable. Take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let's get going. I think the first thing we have to do today is for me to present you all the new changes I did behind the scenes and before the start of this episode. So let's do it now. One of the first things that we have to do is build our stations. So I have to put first the trucks everywhere and the platforms. For anyone who hasn't seen this before, doing a, a site of passenger platforms closer to the city, then another two platforms for cargo trains, so that they don't create so much emission closer to the city, and then we have another platform on the side. Some other stations have it a little bit different. They're more symmetrical, but both setups work exactly the same. So in, in the end, it doesn't really matter. You will also notice that there is um, trucks that are not being put from the station, but from outside the station. The idea is to separate shorter terminals where we can, we can have more terminals for shorter commuter service trains or even intercity when there is not enough traffic and we need shorter trains. So yeah, I'm, uh, I really like to put my underpasses where these uh, cuts are made. Looks kind of cool for me. And putting the covers for passengers everywhere, which you will notice that I didn't do in some of the other stations, but I guess that's just uh, visuals, not so much practical in terms of the functionality of how the mechanics work. And we have to now connect the shorter terminals to the main lines where the trains can come and go. Oh, I hope I didn't forget there to connect the straight line as well. Wow, maybe I did. <laughs> well, I will have to check it out uh, later. But yeah, now comes one of the hardest parts, especially when you come uh, main line. That is uh, it's such a strong angle coming to the station. You can see that it takes a ton of time to create the entrances for the trains because my goal is for them not to slow down before they go to the station. Well, technically speaking, maybe you can just make the shortest possible connection, which is not going to require so much time, I guess, uh, but it's going to slow things down later. You can also decide to do something else, like just uh, have one exit from the main line. Maybe I will try that for some of the next stations. One exit from the main line and then from this exit you create uh, shorter connections to each of the terminals where the trains can start slowing down. That could also work, certainly. You can see here that I tried a new kind of new uh, type of setup. It worked uh, very very nicely I would say but only because we have a left turn before we enter the station. Uh, if it was a right turn, it would not work. You will see on the other side where I started and I dropped it because it was just too difficult. I want to do this one first. That it works uh, in, a, in a different manner. Obviously when the, the main line is straight coming to the station, it's the easiest. This one is not difficult as well. Uh, it requires less space. And also ended up being very nice, I think, in the end. 
Well, we have to connect to the other one, I guess. Yep. And this one here. It doesn't really matter. So my, my point here is to, to try to make the... When the trains are coming, to have the fastest exit to unblock the next section. Uh, sorry, the, the next train to be unblocked as fast as possible so that there is the least amount of stop on the main line or slow down or anything like that. So they just run, join the station and just stop at the station. Don't slow down before that. I don't know, I just like to do it like that. It's, it's not a must. The game works without you doing that as well. Now here we will see that I try to do this the usual way, but it's going to be extremely ugly because of how the mountain is right next to the station. So I will have to, yep, I will have to delete first uh, the lines and then smooth out the section. So that we can have a more natural looking rails. Yeah, okay, so now that we have that. You will see how I do this new, uh, which I called infinite station, which obviously is not, but it's a very nice way of making the trains to exit the stations without having to cross each other. So very close connections here, it doesn't matter because the trains are just speeding up and they're not fast, so it's completely fine. And then we have to make our 180 degree turn. There you go, you can see this is 180 and going down to the max. So you have to set the lowest possible grade and here you do 45 if you noticed 45 degrees and now you do 135 because that's 90 plus 45 and the rest is very easy just connect to the main line and from here as well uh, i have to wait for the auto save here and here you connect as well and here it doesn't really matter what i'm trying to do is just to keep some speed which makes sense like if I can do, in some cases 51 works, but because of the turn here of the main line, not so much. And also this exit of this tunnel is a little bit ugly, so I'm going to have to work with the terrain a little bit so that we can make it a little bit better. And it doesn't look that ugly. And there you go. Now it looks very, very nice. And now we have to repeat that on the other side. It's going to be a little bit longer exits because of the turn again. But works pretty much the same way. We connect everything together. Like this and then we make a 180 degree turn going down as much as possible. And then a 45 one. And here because of the turn we are already in a tunnel when we do that. And then 135 degrees. And now we just connect the two sections that we created. And that's it. Pretty cool. And here we do the same again. Connect. And you will see here I'm trying to... I think he will achieve a greater speed because of uh, the line going left after the station. Yeah. There we go. And that's it. And of course the last step is to put some signals which I like to put now at 160 meters from each other because my big trains are 320 my small trains are around 80 so it kind of makes sense it's in the middle well not technically right but you know what I mean you can fit two of the small trains in between two signals and half the other one so still works and now comes the big challenge <laughs> this was uh, honestly terrible to build uh, but to be, I have tried multiple times to come up with a better way of doing this I haven't yet which bugs me a little bit if someone has a an idea how to do this without so much struggle because it's it's not easy please shout out and yeah you will see here we have another connection which we are going to split in multiple entrances to the station there we go like in real life obviously you don't have trains uh, coming so fast into stations <laughs> for obvious reasons 
but also the game's mechanics working in such a way that uh, this is beneficial for us because it makes the trains faster it doesn't slow them down on the sections and junctions and everything and that improves everything our profitability the speed in which trains reach their destinations which also um, is important for the profitability so yeah and it's not the worst to be honest i don't think it works ugly or anything by the contrary it looks kind of realistic even because it kind of resembles how things are done in a real station yeah here there will be <laughs> some changes done i will build my uh, i really prefer these roads they look so cool now i have to build my uh, central station as well for uh, montreal with uh, passenger and uh, cargo rename them to central bus and central cargo and that's it i will do the rest of the stations because it's kind of similar on my own and there you go now the stations are ready but we still need to do a few things which is to set up public transportation for our new cities we will start with Chicago, put some depots there. Add one residential line. With one very small bus, uh, it's probably going to even lose money in the beginning, but these cities, I expect them to grow super fast because of all the connections that we already have and when we connect them to the network with your cities, the destinations are going to increase the, the growth of the cities by a lot. And then later when we start even bringing cargo, it's going to be even better. Yeah, here it makes sense to put the station uh, uh, over there where you see me doing it because of how the city is placed I will change the station a little bit as well very soon then we have a residential line and I forgot to rename some things our depots in the city as well somewhere far from everything else here misclick and now the station change so that the entrance is closer to the bus station ah here is one of the stations as i said which doesn't have the roofs in all the passenger platforms and now let's go to Toronto first put the road and then extend it to the city so that we can connect the station and the city renaming things a little bit <laughs> and that looks like a good connection could be another one though certainly put one bus station covers everything for the moment create our line Put the depots mm -hmm. 
jump to Montreal, rename the station. Because I forgot in the first part. I hate that there is a light here. Also doesn't let me remove it for some reason. Uh, maybe because the connection is uh, the bus connection, the bus station connection is direct to the road, and then it doesn't allow you to touch the. I, I, I think that's kind of a bug, to be honest. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Creating another connection as well. Adding our bus stop and creating the line. Uh, first the depots and now we create the line. Awesome. One more step though before we're done with the new cities and that is to connect them to the rail network so that the passengers can uh, jump in between. First is uh, Boston and Montreal, we already have a line created, just need to hook it up to the station. It's looking good, adding one very small train for now because the Montreal is, is tiny at the moment. Uh, same goes for the other new cities. Start with one and then we will see. Probably the next step would be to add another one so that we have a better frequency. And then start increasing them if needs be. Next one, Montreal and Toronto. Same story. Coming from the right from Toronto, so has to go to the right here. There is no other choice anymore anyway. Oh, and here we forgot to uh, finish up the station. So we have to do it. Alright, now we can proceed with setting up the stations, uh, sorry, the, the lines and their terminals. We don't have a depot around here, we need to place one. Toronto and Detroit connection as well. I think this would be the last time I'm going to connect so many cities together. It starts to become... Oh, and also keep in mind, I <laughs> built these stations such a long time ago. And I didn't have the time to connect them yet so from now i think i'm just going to connect one city at a time also back in the day i had this idea of having the circular lines which is probably not terrible in general but you will see what i'm going to do about that in the future after we finish connecting these cities basically i'm going to choose the the destinations for intercity lines uh, based on where the people want to go so i'm going to end up connecting only Commuter services, as you can see here, now it's Detroit and Chicago. So cities should have that, like direct links between the closest cities. Here are also remnants of the past. We have uh, an X junction there. 
I will delete these signals and place them again. That's it. Chicago and Detroit are connected. Connecting this with the uh, Chicago site as well. This depot. I have to wait a little bit for the autosave. I'm thinking here that it, we could have improved this uh, connection between Detroit and Chicago, but it's probably not necessary at the moment. And now Detroit can definitely have another connection for a commuter service, and that is Pittsburgh. I think like up to 3 is uh, fine. train for the new line and that is pretty much now the the cities are connected as already mentioned i don't think i'm going to add intercity connections for them yet and in a future episode i will choose where to put the intercity connections based on what destinations the residents of a town have and that's it okay welcome back after all of this is done, meaning our infrastructure is built. It's time to check on a few things more. I did, as I promised, a little bit of a fix here. So, let's remove this guy. You will notice that our connection here to the main line that comes from over there, from Pittsburgh, now joins without having to mix and merge with all the trains that are trying to go to New York Station. Which is amazing. I think this is going to open up traffic here a little bit more. And there is plenty of traffic coming here, especially because we have production, three different types of production over here. And Boston, obviously, everything that goes to Boston, especially its deliveries from the Northeast Distribution Center. Now, what is next? Let's... Uh, I don't know. Review our lines, for example. Let's see. Air. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like this. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. Maybe an even smaller train. I don't know. Passenger. Uh, only this is smaller. And cheaper. Okay. Let's keep them connected. Uh, I don't know if it makes sense though. TNC. But well, there is some. They're on 6th place, so why not? Maybe they're just... I don't know. Maybe they're choosing to... I don't know. Go to Miami and then here? <laughs> no idea. But, yes. Uh, oh, Miami, Tampa, TNC. Hmm. Okay, I think here we can replace with the DC4. Cool. Miami, Tampa, Bermuda, 64 people. 17. I think we can add one more. How about here? Here everything is fine. I think that's it. I don't see anything else that we can do. Although, we can decide to put another airport soon. We'll see, we'll see. If we have the time in this episode, maybe we will do that as well. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, I wanted to review the fuel situation and what's going on with it. I found out by using this mod, by the way, and coming... Where was it? Here. Yeah, you can check the needs of your towns uh, with a radius and after I selected everything and so all my... Uh, wait, let's do it again if you want. Why not? By the way, why do I feel... Oh yeah, graphics are bad. Let's see. I lowered it when I was uh, recording some other things, but now we can definitely have better graphics for this. 
There you go. That feels a little bit better. Okay, so let's use the mod. Radius. We will need a 10,000. Good. And now, this is where the radius is. So it includes all my towns. Plus some that are still not connected. But they don't matter much. Uh, excludes Montreal. Which is okay. Excludes Bermuda. So we have to keep that in mind. Fine. And we can see here 881. But Bermuda is primarily fuel. With 125 more. Which means that we have 1000. 1000 demand of fuel. And we are currently producing... Eight hundred. So there is not enough fuel production at the moment. I think we can bring up two hundred more. Which one? This one was it, right? Yes. Okay, so two hundred means that we can connect this baby here, El Paso, Texas oil well too. With its, uh, I, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to cheat like that. Uh, pausing the game and we are going to try to add it here buildings cargo oh buildings cargo zero left two connections 20 meters should be fine and something like this this is crude delivery, and crude was that? No, that was steel. Uh, I forgot what is crude. What's the color of crude? Which is this color? Blue. Something blue. No idea. Uh, wait, let's try to see. Let's try to find it. Let's put this here, and... Eh? Ah. No, it's not that color, man. Uh, this one. Yes, that's it, right? Yes, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Interesting that it didn't take the new station, but that's fine. There we go. Okay. Technically speaking, this might even be a rail. Debatable. Kind of debatable, I think. Though if I connect... Ah, no, no, no. no. It, it's going to be trucks. It's already trucks, it's going to be trucks. Okay, also this cheating here is not going to happen. Uh, I think I will add station... Here. I will need two, though. Two terminals, because I will have two... Two lines coming to this place. This connects kind of ugly. Don't love it. Okay, let's do this. And then we will figure out the connection ourselves. Read whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Uh, not the most beautiful, but it works. Route delivery. Remove this. Add that. Wait, why I didn't add it on the other side? It's beyond me. Something like that. Let's remove this. Oh, honestly. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to redo it. Hey, yeah, now this is better. This is much better. Okay. And here we're going to have an outside road with 60s current max. Like this. Actually, let's upgrade all of these roads. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and also this one. Here. Yeah, and please both of you you can take alternative terminals and here you can go to two 
and this one as well can be two and one why do i think that yeah this one can go to one and two and also two i prefer them to go to the inside one it's a little bit more clean when they start um waiting each other here okay also one last thing is to this one to become as well that awesome so we root delivery yeah but i kind of changed things here no could be opposite root delivery and then this part is here okay same goes for the other one i guess which by the way can also be here I don't know why I have to make this stuff. Yeah, that's going to be reworked. Delete, delete. Buildings. One. Let's try to make it uh, the same as much as possible. So this is interesting now. Maybe I should do it like this. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. But only... Actually, no connections. I will do it like that. And then I'm going to add myself... Connection like that and connection like that. And now, after we connect this here... We can also connect it like this. Yes. And from here, I'm going to try to do something like that. Yeah, seems reasonable. Okay, and this line is still not working. Hmm, out of safe. out saves they're taking forever literally uh, and like this awesome and that's it perfect i like it okay sure now now what we need to do is which one was that el paso Houston. Wait. Uh, again, this one has to be fixed. Root delivery. And. And then we take this. And put it here. Like that. Okay. Finally, let's buy. Finally. Capacity. And we want crude oil. And we want the biggest baby available to us to the baker us6 tank truck that's what it's going to be and it's el paso if i'm not mistaken and el paso uh, we can play the game now 21 Ooh. that's going to be a lot of trucks we need to bring 200 now as a start this might be reasonable for a train line, to be honest. It's going to be a lot of trucks, but no. Let's do it. Okay, I need 10, I think. So that's 5, and then we select everything and copy again, and that's 200. Okay. Uh... We are already getting it here, which is nice. We have to revive the Houston refinery as well. It's very interesting, actually, that... No, but they have to come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
sure. Another very interesting thing might be that I can think about bringing it back here and from here creating a rail which brings the fuel to the ICDC because currently I have that all being directed here then coming back empty and then we have an empty line going there so we have two empty lines for one direction and the other side we will have only one that's an interesting choice hmm that might be a good idea actually yeah I'm really thinking about it. Put a rail here. Interesting, very interesting. This one is going to have connection for sure. Hmm. At the same time, no, but this is not going to grow that much. I think Houston here. But also, when you think about it, we should use ships. Yeah, let's use ships. It's fine. Okay, this one we need uh, buy vehicles. Root oil. And I think we need these babies, certainly. That goes to oil, Houston refinery. This is on the old type, Houston refinery. That's oil delivery. Cool. Ah, we have 201 with only one tanker, which is <laughs> perfect. Okay, he's slowly finding his way from there. Uh, in the meantime, and there is a few changes I guess I should do here. One of them is my Houston fuel drops. Now look how funny this is. I think I figured it out finally. Houston needs 222 but only gets 170 currently. And one of the main reasons for this is my stupidity. Why? Because I need to cover more area. That's why. So if I... I'll have to pause though, delete this, and add it uh, cargo over here. We are going to use the same station for construction materials and whatever else comes in the future. And then we add another one over there. You will see that we are going to see a spike in the possible supply that we can achieve because we're going to cover more area. I just find out about this by testing now that's the stupid part here right probably it's a better idea if i add the station here and then the other one somewhere around there yeah sounds better to be kind of more in the middle still going to cover the construction materials but that's fine i guess and then the other one here and this one kind of covers there, kind of, so maybe there, okay. Over here is going to be the other one. So this is... This is... Houston... Int... Drop... One. And this is... Wait, let's copy... Copy... And then paste... Two. And of course, I made a mistake. It's an in drop two. Okay. And we are going to have. What do we have currently? Nothing. Aha. Houston fuel L drop. Now, we are going to manage this. And after this one, they're going to go there. Okay. How does it look? Go there. Go here. Awesome. Awesome. And I think I should add another one. Like this. And that goes to 275 and we have plenty. Yeah, we will see how uh, profitable this is. But that now, I am most certain, is going to immediately start increasing this. 
No, no, maybe not because we don't have enough supply. But you will see when we add more, this is going to go up. I will show you later if we have the time in this episode. Okay, uh, the fuel drop is still going to be from here, which is very nice. I remember that I was setting this up correctly. Okay, they are not close, but far enough from the... Hmm, for the emissions. I think it's fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then the rest is we have to return any fuel that we don't use here. Which I would say would be... 150 maybe? From... This line I'm going to use for that. Consumer suppliers. Yeah. This is going to not be... Well, let's first start producing more here and then we're going to see what happens. But yeah, I think I'm going to use this line that currently brings the fuel here to then bring the fuel back to the SCDC. Awesome. 400. Yeah. Okay, 200. This has to increase though. This is our ship, right? Yes, okay. Okay, so this one is set up. I have to come back and check it out though. Uh, another thing, which I don't think I like very much now, but I think we can go back to the previous setup is delivering everything for Panama and New Orleans by train again yes I know going back and forth but that's what it is now let's start with Panama we're delivering two things here right we're delivering food and conmat okay let's start with conmat put Panama here and we're going to do a new line from the SCDC to Panama oh but the Panama is the old type of station so they're going to have to make circles hmm yeah I forgot about that I really want to do it but unless I change the station that's not gonna work because they're going to have to make all of this and I don't like that. Yeah, I'm not touching this one. How about you? This one can work. Yeah, New Orleans can work. Delete this one. Maybe Panama will stay, but New Orleans will not. Okay. So, new line from here to here. It's going to come on the right. So give me something, uh, you already gave me something on the right, with everything else. Uh, can I have it here? Thank you. Okay, I guess the first one we can do is the one that brings us the oil fuel. So... Oh. New Orleans, yes, please take them both. Doesn't matter which one, and we are going to call this cargo rail. This is supply, and this is going to be uh, no, this is New Orleans. Actually, first is ACDC, and then New Orleans, and we have oil, fuel, supply. Awesome. So, here we are going to load this and unload the fuel and in New Orleans we are going to unload the oil and load the fuel and this is going to get the fuel polar oh some nice cool now this has to have 400 where is my depot I think the closest depot is this one or that one. And I want them first to come to the ACDC, so let's take this one. 
Now this is a very very interesting conversation. First of all, obviously we're going to use the small wagons, the old ones. With these ones. They have 80 kilometers per hour, so we don't need anything fast. Power. Okay. And when it comes to... Actually, let's find speed. Speed is more important here. And it should be the Mikado, I think. This one is so expensive. Mm, let's try with the Mikado. Yeah, okay. Let's add, add this boy. And then we are going to add... Crude oil. Stuff until 320... 310. Oh, come on, let's do 322. Buy. And assign to this one. 645. Yeah, I definitely don't need that much. Five sixty seven. Four ninety. Four thirteen. Awesome. That's exactly what we need, which also means we don't need that anymore. I guess we can just sell everything here. That's the first. And then we can see if we are gathering the oil here. SDC and no oil fuel supply. Awesome. Okay, unfortunately, this is going to be lost, but what can you do? Goodbye. This baby is not existing anymore, which means we don't need this. And none of this. I also have another idea, which you are probably going to find out about soon enough. which requires me to use this space, but that will be for another episode. Okay, I like this. Uh, ah, no, actually, we are bringing everything to New Orleans by ship, so yeah. At least we will be using these terminals here for the fuel and oil. Okay, that looks good enough. Where is the train, by the way? 58, 59... Yeah, I don't think I need anything better than this. Secondary delivery. We are actually delivering something by train here. Ah, yeah, because it was too few. 28. And I didn't want to use a ship. This is probably wasting me a lot of money. Yeah, this, this has to grow before this, uh, this becomes something. Goodbye. I will sell this, but keep the line for now. Of course, we need the how to save to stop. Awesome. Uh, unfortunately, construction material is uh, almost always a secondary resource. What's going on here? We have not delivered anything yet. This guy is just waiting. Yeah, maybe a uh, lot if available is a better idea. You're moving? Yeah, it says it's moving. Okay. I'm curious if I will have enough space. Probably yes. Probably yes. Consumers, 81. That's good. That's good. Consumers. Okay, this is going on like it's going on. Now, I will show you what I meant. Let's go to Boston and this is where my biggest problem was with everything here. Hmm. I don't understand. This I constantly have to come back here and see if this is working properly. It has to be at 800. Do I, I give you one more or what do I do with you? Let's see. Anyway, so Boston. Suppliers. Wait first. 
250, 250, but yet 170 and 147. What's the deal? The deal is this. I have only one drop line here for everything and it should not be like that. Just watch. Let's pause first. Keep our... Oh, actually, I don't need that because I'm going to use this. We should add a cargo's drop. Let's see how we're going to do it. Because I have plenty on this side and I have on this side. Maybe somewhere around here. That's going to cover steel. Most of... This is a very stupid street here, honestly. This is going to cover most of the construction material without any trouble. So let's add this one. Actually, first, let's delete. Let's delete this and add it here. No, I didn't take it. Yeah, that happens when you are too much in a hurry. Uh, yeah. Let's copy this, add it here, and then let's take the con mat, add this station, and remove that station. But the other one, that's better. And then the other one is the mach drop, but first let me see where we're going to put the second one. Second one somewhere around here? On the other side of town, it probably makes sense. Let's put it like that. And this is going to be... No, this is going to be two. And please first go to one, and then you go to two. And that's perfect. Um, yep. Yes. Okay, awesome. Now this went down a little bit, I guess the rate, but watch this. Let's see. Okay, nothing is happening yet, but maybe because it takes everything else for New York. Yeah, kind of does. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure this is going to increase, especially if I stop the deliveries to New York. It went down a little bit, honestly, sometimes. Ah, because there is no steel. But I don't understand what the problem with the steel is, to be honest. Maybe this. Okay, let's add another one. Maybe that's going to help. What about this? 501. I think that's plenty. Well, in this case, I don't think you need... As many. Or 67. Actually, you can do it even less. Or 34. Awesome. Make me money, baby. And this one? 935 now. It increased. Ooh! It's making me good money, though. This one, it appears, is not enough. But I don't care because I want Boston to receive more. Honestly, on mat 88, much more than we need. Anyhow, let's do the same for the foot. So I will add this one, the tools and the goods are over here. So we are going to add this one closer to them. And then the other one, have plenty on this side there, maybe something like that that sure but that means that this one has to be that one and this one is going to be number two and now the foot has to go first here uh, not sure if i like this cross but that's how it's going to be maybe here has to be like that yeah, that's a little bit better. This cross is inevitable because they have to go here. 
But yeah, I think that's going to help. I really hope so, because when I was testing it, it did. This has to increase, 151. No, because New York is sucking everything. But when I add more stuff to the Northeast Distribution Center, New York is going to stop doing that to me. Anyway, uh, that's it. I hope this starts working by next episode. And I think with this, I will wrap it up for today. Let me know your thoughts of today's episode in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.